Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We're taking a look at the all new Class B sequence that gives you a pop top. This is a 2021 Thor sequence model 20A. We are gonna take a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, then. We're gonna give you three things we love about the Thor sequence and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video. My name is Matt from Matt's RV Reviews. It's the world's only channel giving you that true and biased review about everything when it comes to RVs. And again, today I am super excited. We're taking a look at another Class B, a brand new one, the Thor sequence with the pop top. But before I begin, I would like to say hi to Andrea. Hey, Andrea! Hi, everybody! Good morning! Good morning. Th thank I'm so sorry. Thank you for coming out so early this morning. It's okay. I'm super excited. I want to congratulate the owner of this beautiful RV, Mr. Ted Kaplan. Yep. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoy this. And you guys, I've never seen the sequence with the pop top, so I'm excited. Me too. Absolutely. Let's begin. Model is 20A, but the actual tip to tip length of this motorhome is 20 feet 11 inches. I love that. I love how small it is and compact. It's easy to drive. Uh, it is on the Dodge Promaster chassis. It's a 3.6 liter Penstar V6 with uh, 280 horsepower and 260 foot pounds of torque. Now, this isn't a Super C, y'all, but it's all good. It's going to be quick and nimble, great fuel economy. Up front here, you know, this your traditional Dodge Ram chassis, you know, very nice, you know, coming down the side here, Andrea. Wait, look, look, we got the Nexon tires. I love those. <laughs> These are the uh, ALT 225-75 R16. Again, Matt, you love every tire. Yep. Uh, because this is a Thor, Thor was doing... Thor's doing a six year, 12 year warranty, but not on their class B's because they're not gonna do a six year delamination warranty uh, because there's no fiberglass, it's a van. So what Thor's doing is a two year limited warranty, which a lot of other manufacturers on this platform is only doing the one year chassis. Okay. Let me tell you guys. That's good. Can I tell you something, Andrea? Thor's stepping up their class B game. Everybody's stepping up their class B game. And it's so exciting because one of the reasons why I don't love class B's is because the price point. But let me tell you, the more guys who are entering the market, what's going to happen, Andrea? It'll flood the market and make the prices go down. Prices going down is better for you. I love that. When we open the door here, let's see what we got. We got a power awning right there. Battery disconnect switch. Ah. Yay. I was about to say, there's no screen. And here's your screen right here. I love that. Also, you have your running board right there. Also, notice this. That is a handle right there. Okay. Very nice. All right. Coming down the side here, we do have a propane quick connect right there. Power outlets. And listen, Mr. Kaplan's going to be here in about 15 minutes, so we got to do this video fast. This is a power awning. It's a tooling awning. And uh, they have the awning support bars right there and there. Okay. Coming around the back, the hitch is rated for 3,500 pounds. I would not tow any vehicles behind you. That's not what the Class B is for. The Class B is your motorhome is your vehicle. Bike rack on the back. I believe this is an option. This is a very nice bike rack. And then... We got a backup camera up there too. Oh, yes. Thank you. Backup camera. No side cameras on these Dodge Promasters. I don't understand why. I wish they had them. And then check this out. Very nice. What's this? This must be something just to strap down. Interesting. Do you know what it's for? No, I don't. Leave that in the comments below. I've never seen one of these. Let me know if you know what it's for. That's pretty interesting. So coming around the back, okay, uh, no netting, but there is, there, there's a place for netting right here. If I can see that, you can net a screen all the way around. It is gonna come inside somewhere. Right over here, we have a uh, cigarette outlet right there. 
water pump light. Here's your 30 amp power cord. Love the cabinetry. And yeah, that's just the rear. And also something I do like, this is gonna be one long bed right here that goes east to west. But I love how it folds up like this and you got plenty of walk rate. Really big and spacious and nice. And I like that. Hey Matt, yes. what's up on the roof? What's that? What's up on the roof? Oh. I don't really want you okay? <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, there's an AC unit up on the roof. There's probably going to be a bike rack up on the roof. And maybe a solar panel? Probably a solar panel. Also right there is your WineGuard digital to go antenna. Underneath here, Andrea, we do have a propane generator. It is a Cummins Onan QG 2800i generator. This RV does have a 20 pound propane tank. And Andrea, we'll leave all the specs about this motorhome, lengths, tank sizes, widths, everything down in the description below. Also right here, bing, for everybody to watch on television. Right here's gonna be your potable water fill. Potable. Potable. Uh, here's where you hook up your city water. Um, and then do you know what this is That's for, Andrea? It's a cassette. It sure is. It's a cassette for the toilet. Absolutely. And then right here's your Chumacamba instant hot tankless water heater. I love that because uh, the tankless water heaters help save space on the inside. You have your 30 amp power cord right there, TV. And right there's uh, where you fill up your propane. Awesome. And then right here. going on maybe it's uh you have to push a button maybe it's electric yeah well that's your fuel guys yep this is where you put your fuel i haven't seen anybody do this with the uh door yet oh look at the sides of the door i like that they give you room for storage here as well yeah and then look at this oh this must be your emergency brake now okay i like that oh i like that the reason why they did that is so it's not in there so it's going to be easier to swivel the seat around very smart well andrea the outside of this motorhome looks great but the inside looks even better let's go take a look okay everybody oh i like the cabinetry in here all right oh gosh not not like we're walking through a huge motorhome. <laughs> plenty, well, plenty of walkway, guys. There's your wet bath. Here's the bed area back here. And again, I love the cabinetry in here. And Matt, it looks like he's getting ready to pop the top. Pop top. Okay. Now, I believe this is this this model is going to give the Winnebago Solus a run for their money. Do you know it? Okay, so what you do here, you push up on that, and so that latch comes, then you twist that. Okay, you ready? And then push. Is there another clip? There shouldn't be. <sighs> Full twist secure. I like that. Me nice too. skylight. Very nice. Do you see something? Hold it on. Oh, that's why. I'm like, what the heck? Okay, here we go now. Well, don't you I'm need too to short. Yeah, you might need to put the ladder. Do you want me to pop it? No. Look, look, please look. I'm Matt's not stepping taking on off his shoes. Yep. <laughs> Are you still too short? There you there go. There you go. I'm All a little right. too short for that. We do have a ladder up here in Andrea. Yes. Since we are short on time, I will just show everybody the top. Very nice pop top. You do have the screens right there and right there to make nice airflow. I love this. That skylight and it does open. That's so cool. When you're ready to close it up, there's your latch pull right there and there. Even though, even though I was struggling a bit because of my vertical challengeness, <laughs> it was still a very easy and awesome pop top to open. Now, Matt, 
Is that the telescoping ladder that belongs on there if you want to look at the roof? Yes. Okay, cool. So it does come with that. Yes, absolutely. And then this is really cool. Oh. So, so one. Wow. No, let's start up here. Yes. Then we'll show this. So up front here in the cockpit area, it's your Dodge platform. Again, we can't see the nose of the vehicle. I always think that's so weird when we're in these things, but I'm a commander. I got my left side, right side in reverse and AC units, backup camera. Andre, do you want to sit in my co-captain seat? Of course. I really like what they're doing here. You know, that has some protection down here off the floor mats. It looks like a nice indoor, outdoor carpet, but um, it's very stylish, you guys. And it does protect the floor right here from getting all dirty. So I do like that. I do feel a little bit elevated. Um, I think I've said that before, sitting in this kind of chassis. Uh, but for what you're getting, I mean, my goodness, this is awesome. You got a little bit of tiny storage up here. And do these seats, they do swivel, right? Yes, they okay. do swivel to become part of the living area. That's and great. that's part of that emergency brake right here if you want to go on through. Okay. I really like that table right there. And then you have two seats right here. So Absolutely. A four-seater van. Absolutely. This can sleep four. It can transport four safely and legally. They do have their seat belts. I love this table because this seat swivels. And so you can have like an office or a dining table or whatever. And then this is something else that I really love. Yes. Very nice. And then there's a support that goes right there and then it will make it so it's nice that level and flesh. Awesome. Flesh, flush. Flush. And we got some windows here, you guys. There we go. Very oh, nice. very Let's cool. Let's see what kind. We have a shade, a privacy shade there. Yep. Okay. How do you like the balances? It's okay. And then and look, they're going. You got with some that. cabinetry up here, which Euro. you get a lot of storage. As you can see, this has a TV in it, which is nice. Yep. I very believe nice. the other one didn't have one. Very nice. Yep. TV right there. And there is a cabinet under there, Matt. If you want to grab that. Well, not only that. And it's just... then we have a down on the step right here. Underneath, we have a drawer. Very I nice. I love that they're trying to utilize all the space. Absolutely. Did you get this one too? Oh, wow. That's a little closet. Yep, a little bit. Not okay. a ton of space in these Class Bs. You guys know that. But using every square inch. Now that's awesome. Well, Andrea, it's now time for the MSRP. Burr, 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 burr. MSRP on this motorhome here is $108,682 MSRP. Sale price is $92,379 wow. sale price. But Andrea, wow. Mr. Kaplan didn't pay that. He paid a lot less than that. Why don't you tell everybody what Mr. Kaplan did? You can call, you can text, you can email, you can FaceTime. Hey, 301-906-0962 or mattsrvreviews at gmail.com or send, uh, check out the uh, check out the website mattsrvreviews.com where you can get your official Matt's RV Review stickers. Bing! Also, there's a contact me page below. You contact me, like Mr. Kaplan did, I will get you in contact with our Class B specialist to get you... The best price in America. Burr, 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 burr. Also, the Matt price, you guys. You know it. Andre. Make, and make sure you guys do contact Matt because we will be giving you a voucher. Yes. Okay, so check this out in the kitchen area. I do see you have like a little center here where you can check your tanks and all yep. that stuff. Absolutely. Now, look at this. Solid surface countertop. Very I nice. I like that a lot. I like that it's this way because it gives you more counter space. We have nice big drawers. Look at that. Yep. Great size. Wow, really good size for how small this it is. is. You've got a tower of power here, I think, but there you very go. Nice. Very nice. You got a window back here, which is great with a privacy shade. Absolutely. We have a cabinet up here, everyone. That's your controls for your tankless water heater. Uh huh. Very nice. And we have a little teeny tiny microwave. I actually think it's a convection oven microwave. Maybe it is. 
it, it doesn't look like it, but it might be. Well, that's what it said on the description. That's Maybe. all I'm yeah, saying. Yeah, it might be. But that's great because a lot of times in class B's, I don't even see microwaves. Says convection oven and keyless entry. Yes, that's awesome. That's their words, not our words. <laughs> I like the guard here so you don't get, you know, cooking mess everywhere. Cooking mess. <laughs> cooking mess. We got two burner cooktop. Uh-huh. We got another little place for sponges. Yep. And this is a great size for a little refrigerator for a class B. Yep. That's awesome. I like it. And I do want to add something. Always make sure you talk to one of our class B specialists because we don't even know if this is a convection microwave and not everything we see in our descriptions are always true. Right. We're going off what we see. We're so. going off of what we get from the manufacturer. Right. So uh, right in, in, in these times, things are changing. So here's the wet bath. I like the lights up there. That's nice. It's a little door. Okay. Little shower. You guys know how Pop I feel in there, about Matt. these. I'm going to go on that angle. I mean... There's no way of putting this, Andrea. Matt, I, I can know. you even close that? Nope. You would have to use it with the door open. But how would you take a shower? You wouldn't be able to in there. I mean, you'd go like this. Let me see. Let me get in there. Now, I do really like that they have the cassette toilet. This is great for people that are boondocking, want to be off-gridding. But yes, it's totally doable for me. I could do it. I could take a shower in here and I would be totally fine. Hashtag class B life. <laughs> and you got a little area here for your sink, as you can see, to mm -hmm. wash your hands. Um, it does have a light switch here and a place for the fan. But, you know, hey, I would rather have a bathroom if I was in a class B. Yep. So I would deal, I would totally be okay with that. Yep. Back here, you can see this is an 11,000 BTU air conditioning unit. You got great storage access oh, right wow. here. Wow. Okay. Let's turn oh, this light on. Oh, look at that. Soft close. Soft close doors. These are the Vanna White lights. Yep. More oh, storage above. Oh, look at that, Which Matt. is very nice. They got a USB back there. Uh-huh. Uh, they got speakers in here. We got storage below. Okay. Well, that's the fuse box, not storage. But at least they um covered it up so it looks nice. We got a drawer there. A little cubby back here. Okay. That gives you some good space. Yes, ma'am. And you got another drawer right there, Matt. And then also, right behind you, there's a cubby. Okay. Oh, yeah, that was where that the was uh, where power the back cord. was. Yeah. Now, I like that they have windows on both sides for cross ventilation. Yep. Very nice. And we do have cabinetry above. Showed that. Yep. Oh, you did? Mm -hmm. Oh, you did. That's right. Had the USB. All right, so let's Sorry, see. Sorry, y'all. We're in a little bit of a rush. I just got a text message saying Mr. Kaplan's here oh. to pick up the... Oh, oh, wow. Secret, secret story. That's awesome. Very nice. I'm impressed with that. Okay. And so how this works is just like this. I just need, I just need a little bit more space here. So this is a mechanism yep. like this right and then you just flip that pad over and you got your bed and that is awesome matt i could see us in one of these oh uh, this is pretty neat i like how big the bed is i don't mind having to climb over somebody to make sure it gets done fantastic well andrea that's it that's the review now before everybody leaves it's now time we give everybody three things we love about this motorhome and three things we dislike about it. Andrea, what should we do first? We're gonna do three things we dislike about it. Okay. Not easy, but easy. It's not easy. No, it's it's easy, because I don't like class Bs, but first <laughs> thing I dislike, I do not like the wet of bath. Of course. It's not for me, it is for you. If you're about that van life, this is actually a great bathroom if you're about that van life. I'm not about that van life, so it's not for me. That is one, two. Okay, Matt. I'm not a fan of this step. Yep. I just don't know what can be done about it, but me, I would totally forget it's there coming off that ladder and I would be tripping almost every time because I'm very clumsy. Absolutely. So that's that's my dislike. Perfect. I mean, we're knocking these out because number three for me, uh, I do not like how these sit up. Give me 10 seconds. Howdy. We'll be done in like five minutes. Okay. And Mr. Kaplan, he knows, he asked us to do it. How do you put that top up? It's just a twisty. Yep, it's it's pretty cool. Hey, if I can do it, you can do it. <laughs> that's for dang sure. 
And then number three is just sitting in a driver's seat. I don't like how I can't see the nose of my vehicle. Yes. You know? It is a little weird. Yep. So that's three things we don't like about it. Now it's time for three things we love about this motorhome. I got one. Oh, you want to go first? Sure. All right, go ahead. I really like the cabinetry in here. Yes. Um, I love the European look in here. Yes. I think this past sequence I was in, I don't think it was this luxurious looking. I don't but know. I love it. I love the colors in here. They did a great job. Not only that, the soft clothes. Yes. Good job, Thor. That's one. Number two, I love this kitchen. Believe it or not, in my opinion, this is actually a decent sized kitchen, especially for a Class B. I really like it. I like the way they did it with the solid surface. I think it looks great and functionality, it, it works it's very practical. well. It's practical. Yes. So that's two. And do you have a third? Because I do have a number you three. Can go. So I'm going to say, I'm going to combo it. I love how this is open. So you can put your bicycles in here while you're driving. Absolutely. Also, I love how they changed the emergency brake on that side. So this can turn around so you have like a little dining room yeah, area. Yeah, so it's not in the middle there and makes it awkward. Exactly. Great job. Oop. Well, Andrea, that's it. That's the review. Thank you everybody so much for watching. If you guys have any questions about the sequence, well, not this one because it's sold. But if you guys have any questions about the sequence, please call me, text me, send me an email. It is mattsrvreviews at gmail.com or 301-906-0962. That's my personal cell. Or check us out online at mattsrvreviews.com where you can get your official Matt's RV Review stickers. Bing! Also, there's a contact us page. Again, you contact me. I will get you in contact with my Class B specialist to get you the best price in America. <laughs> Also, in a few seconds, you're going to see some other Class B videos here that I would like you to check out. Andre, do you have anything you want to say? Of course. Hey, everybody. Make sure you do contact Matt for the Matt price, and also you will be getting a voucher. Guys, thanks so much for watching. Let us know the three things that you like about this RV and the three things that you dislike. Thor does read all our comments, so make sure you leave feedback. Also, thank you, Mr. Kaplan. I really do hope you enjoy this RV. Yep. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you guys are safe and well. Andrea, thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time.